Hi, my name is Juan. Oh, hi, my name is Juan, and for this video, I'm going to show you how to take a picture using a camera. Uh, the first step you want to do is you want to have your camera positioned to your subject at an appropriate distance. You want to make sure that your camera captures what you want to capture, while still having some room to breathe. The next step you want to do is you want to use this ring right here to adjust if you're think how, how close you want your subject to be. If you want to zoom a little more, you just turn it this way. And then if you want to zoom out a little more, you want to zoom out this way. And then you just want to check on the screen right here if it's at an appropriate distance of your liking. Uh, let's go right here. The next step you want to do is you want to use this little ring right here. And it'll uh, focus your camera to the object. I have my camera set to manual focus because I like having as much control on the picture as possible. So I'll just move the dial around until I get it in focus, that seems about right. And the next step I want to do is I want to adjust my shutter speed and my shutter will determine how much light the camera will be receiving. You typically want to shoot in well lit areas to like outside or with open windows like this. Um, if Ideally you don't want to use your flash because that's artificial light and that's not good your flash should not be your only source of light it should be an additional light source so i'll use the style right here to adjust my shutter speed and we'll tone it down until we get somewhere i like typically 125 shutter which is a 121 125th of a second that's how much light is coming in the shutter is going to be open for 125 till about 60 is a good spot to use to not use a tripod but for the sake of making it easier to film and take a picture i'm using a tripod um let's see then the next step you want to do is you want to adjust you press this little button here and now you can adjust your aperture and what that will do that will determine how open the aperture will be which will determine how much light your camera is receiving the smaller the number, like four, three and a half, and five, means that it's going to be open. It's going to be really open. While well, less bigger numbers, like 11, 14, 16, 18, it, it, your aperture is really, really small. That's ideally you want to use small, big aperture, small apertures like 18 and such for landscape shots or for action shots. And for, um, um, for and your shutter speed for action shots like sports pictures and things like that you want to use big numbers like 500 125 2000 if your camera is able to so let's tone it down to about four and what i like to do is i like to press this lever right here so instead of looking it at the screen i'll look through the little viewfinder right here and it'll tell me if my thing is in focus with the little green dot and it'll tell me right here with this little the little bar right there with the plus and the minus and the zero if I have the correct amount of light. If I have too much light, the little there will be a little bar going towards the plus. And if I don't have enough light, it'll go towards the minus. So one sixtieth of a second at an F4, meaning I'm, that's a good amount. So then all you have to do now is just press the capture button. It'll take the picture and you can look at your preview. If you like your picture, you can just stop right there. Or if you think you need to take more, you can just keep taking more. And the good thing about digital cameras is that you can just take as many as you want, look through them immediately. And if you don't like one, you can just delete it. But I like the results for these pictures right here. Um, if you're taking a picture with your phone, you don't really need to adhere to all the rule, all rules. You can just, you know, just position your camera and just press the capture button. Just tap it to focus it, and that's all you have to do, and just press your capture button. Um, that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope this was informative, and thank you for your time.